Hey guys, Backyard Scrapping here. Uh, I'm just showing you a little picture of my, oh, I guess you would call it stuff that still needs to be broke down. But anyway, we've got a bunch of uh, DVD and CD-ROMs and floppy drives and laptop drives and a bunch of hard drives. So I need a little room on my shelf. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break some hard drives down today. So, when I get set up to do that, I will get back at you. Okay, guys, there's what we're going to be working on today. Um, I've actually reorganized the shelf a little bit and gave me a little bit more space over there. Uh, most of these drives are all good, and the card readers, and the laptop, DVD RWs, CD RWs, and DVD readers... Most of this stuff is all good. Um, there's actually computers and hard drives that I've fixed. Um, there's a bunch of hard drives over here that are actually good. All of those hard drives are good. Um, I've got some old IDEs. If you're working on an old computer and need a hard drive, um, a bunch of SATAs. Same thing with laptops. Um, I've got RAM, you know, a box full of RAM and cards and this is a bunch of scrap down here I've got all kind of adapters um, tons and tons of different size computer fans that are all tested and working so I'm little by little I'm gonna try and get some of this stuff up on my website um, so that you know and it'll be bargain priced I mean if you've got a project going on and you need something get a hold of me and you know, I, pro I may very well have it. I mean, I've got a bunch of this stuff laying around. So, uh, I'm going to get moved over here to the desk. And probably going to time lapse a lot of this. Or just show you um, when we start breaking these things down. You know, you can tell that's a newer one. A very small board. Maybe I'll go through them first and show you the difference between some of them. But, uh... We'll get back at you in just a sec as soon as I get set up over here. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm at my workbench, and I just wanted to show you the differences in these drives real quick. This is actually a 4300 megabyte Seagate drive. Now, this drive is good. I have to put this one back on my good shelf. But it's only 4 gigabytes. All right, and even I remember when I got my computer with a six gigabyte hard drive, I thought I really had something. But this is a four gigabyte IDE hard drive, which IDE is the one, the old style with the pins in the front. Now I just want to flip this over and show you the board on the back. You see that board? You see how much stuff is on it? There's tantalum capacitors, MLCCs, crystals, all kind of flat packs, IC chips. All right. That just goes, and that's only a four gigabyte drive. Now I'm going to show you how they improve. This is also an IDE drive, you know, the pins, the big pins. Um, this one is, let's see, see if we can find it. This one is a 15 gigabyte hard drive. So it's actually three and a half of those. Now I'm going to show you how much they changed in a little bit of time. Look at the difference in those two boards. And you can see a major difference. Now we're going to move into a SATA drive, an older SATA drive. This SATA drive is 80 gigabytes. I mean, there are some that are 40, but this one's an 80. Now I'm going to show you this board. Look at this board compared to those. Smaller and smaller and smaller. This, this little bit of one-sided plated pins, that's all that's on this. These are all full plate pins on these. Now we're going to move up to a 250 newer Barracuda hard drive. And look at that board. There's literally nothing on the back side of this board. I mean, even this older SATA has, you know, some a few chips on it, a few flat packs, a couple small ICs and MLCCs. This board has virtually nothing on the back side. Just some little bitty pinhole gold, you know, pinhole plating and this little bit of pins and that's it so there's the difference just in a matter of I don't know what do you want to call it 10 years this is probably a 10 or 15 year old hard drive but look at how they come down 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 and then virtually down to nothing 
this one is a good drive I'm going to put it back that's actually probably an antique or a collectible drive because it is only four gigabytes 4300 megabytes 4303 megabytes to be exact but anyway okay I'm gonna start breaking these down show you how I do it and we'll get back at you in just a bit I'm gonna turn my air on because it's getting hot in here so I'm probably not gonna do a lot of talk and I may put some music in because that air conditioner is a pain with the noise but anyway we're gonna break these down today and we'll be back at you in a bit okay guys let's get started on this um, like I said I know you can hear the air conditioner in the background. It's very annoying. It's been in most of my videos this summer because it's just been too hot not to have it on. So I'm just going to probably time lapse this and uh, just add some music to it or something so that it's pleasant to watch. Um, you're going to need basically to start, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a kit with a star bit on it. Or I call it a star bit. I don't know. I know there's a name for it, but I call them a star bit. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and start with this 15 gig IDE, and we're going to go ahead and break it down, and then I'll come back and talk at you when I get done. So here we go. Okay guys, we have broken this hard drive down. The only thing that is left in it, and if you have a press or a hammer punch or something, you can just really punch this out. But this is just the hard drive motor that's left in there. If you're going to scrap them out, I mean, I would punch it out because this is cast aluminum. Uh, the motor's probably aluminum, but you don't want to take any chances on your scrap getting you know, cut down to the next level because this has other metal in it. Also, it can go in your copper bearing motors. Um, here's your board, which we are going to harvest the pins. Um, we're going to harvest the MLCCs and the chips. And then that board will just go in our scrap board box. The magnets, a lot of people buy these. I see them on eBay. When you saw me, I was doing it in the time lapse, putting these, ma be, you know, putting the magnets together like that back in a couple just be very careful when you're doing that because these are super super strong magnets and they will pinch the fire out of you you know if you get your finger in there the wrong way when you're trying to put these back together you're gonna you're gonna get hurt um, you can do this as well as you can see those are metal if you want to separate out stainless steel screws are not cheap and those are stainless steel screws so that shows you right there I mean, I'll separate them out. I have jars and jars and jars of screws, so I will separate the screws out one day and get all the stainless steel out of them. This is basically just junk. Uh, this is actually a little, one of them little, I guess, silicon packs to keep the thing from getting damp. This can go in your scrap metal. That can go in the trash. Um, this is actually your... Uh, Oh, the name from it. it's uh, the arm, the hard drive actuator or whatever it is. There's a flat pack on here. There's some gold plating on this. Normally, there's some gold plating under here. Here's gold plating here and here. Um, there may be some underneath, and a lot of times these little guys will be gold plated, or there'll be different size ones on here that'll be gold plated. Also, in the very end of the hard drive, there's two very thin, tiny little wires that are 24 karat gold bond wire, like a bond wire. They're very thin. Most of the time I just see these broken apart, you know, and people are just, you know, I just take and do, you know, pull it off like that. And, you know, you see the actuators for sale. Some of these are copper, these little rings here. Some of these are actually plated uh, aluminum. 
so it just depends but I just throw these in a bag and hang on to them like that I will trim off any of my gold see there's some gold here too and I'll put that in my little ribbon bag and keep it separated this is all aluminum some people some of these platters are going to have platinum on them uh, I don't know how to tell you which ones do and which ones don't a lot of times I just save these up till I get a bunch of them and sell them on eBay a lot of crafters like them uh, these are sometimes hard aluminum or uh, on occasion I think they're stainless steel too but in any case they're not I don't believe they're magnetic no not magnetic not magnetic because this is all hard drive stuff and then I will knock this out I'll knock out this motor put that in my copper bearing motors and then you literally have just a block of cast aluminum so that's the breakdown of the drive and the board I'll get back at you when I get more of these broken down and uh, we're just going to continue on so we'll talk at you in a bit Okay guys, as you can see, um, we've done several hard drives. These are all of the IDE drives. Um, I've got them all broken down. This is all the screws, the magnets. This is the aluminum washer for the hard drive platters. Some of the ribbon stuff and some gold pins. Uh, the hard drive motors, which will go in my scrap motors. Um, and a couple things I wanted to show you real quick, or at least one or two things I want to show you, how things changed over time. Um, these are off the actuator arms, and there's actually some gold plating on these ribbons. This is off the back of the hard drive motor, and there's actually gold plating here. Now what I'm going to show you is as time went on, even as I was moving into, I mean, you can look and see how heavy these hard drive frames are I mean they're nice heavy aluminum frames you know they've got some weight to them and then as you move into the more modern ones you see they're about half so even even they start they start skimping on everything even the aluminum but when you look at that that's about half of what the aluminum is so that's that what I was showing you on the ribbons is, you know, this is all gold plate here. You know, there's some gold plating here. This I scraped as copper, even though it looks like gold, it's copper underneath. But I have to trim that out. But this is what I wanted to show you. See on this ribbon, the connectors for the motor, silver. Silver, or tin, literally. Not even silver, it's actually tin. So even in the old IDEs, near the end, they started skimping on stuff. Where you have this, which is the hard drive motor connectors, are actually gold. These are silver, or silver color, tin. So they're trash. And the same thing with the actuator arms. Literally on this, there is no gold on the ribbon at all on this actuator arm. And they really, really skimped out, you know, near the end. So I'm going to take a break for a little while because I've been doing this for a couple, three hours now. And uh, we will get back at you in a bit and I'm going to get started on the SATA drive. So it's probably going to take me the majority of a day. So anyhow, guys, we'll be back at you in just a bit. Okay guys, as you can see we've got a pretty good pile of stuff on the desk. I'm going to go ahead and break this last one open real time. And 
do a little bit of talking I guess while we're doing it you got to remember this is the guarantee screw that's under the label once that screw is removed the warranty is void like we're going to be turning this in for a warranty but but anyhow remember that screw under the label there's one and it is the warranty screw or whatever they call it but my poor little screwdriver here the handles falling apart and just it's just flaking off all over everything I'm gonna have to get me a new kit I guess I'm in dire need of a new screwdriver kit pretty soon all the rubber will be worn off of it or the grippy stuff or whatever you call it and this the bit no longer I guess the little bearings up in there that hold the bits in they don't hold the bits in anymore so that goes to show you that this has definitely been used but anyhow this is obviously a really newer drive a bigger drive I think it's a 250 yeah I think it's 250 or 350 gig drive there's some writing over it I'm surprised it actually has gold right there because most of them have had the silver like I showed you earlier newer drives but I guess they figured they got such a dinky little board in these things now they can afford to use a little bit more gold on the connections I notice a lot of connections in this bunch were silver but look at that little dinky board one-sided this has gold on it and this has gold on it I'm surprised well that's something else Let's see if we can break that off that's actually some type of gold pins yeah those are actually gold pins so that's cool we'll put that up here in our little gold pin pile these have gold pins on this part of the connector so we're actually going to get a little gold out of this one Gosh, went from six to eight screws on the hard drives down to three. So I said they have learned how to cut corners everywhere. Put our magnet back together. Watch your fingers. Remember, watch your fingers when you're doing this because they will pinch the fire out of you. Once these suckers are together too they're hard to get apart so there's our pile of magnets we're going to go ahead and knock this this one is a knockout so I'm going to go ahead and take my punch and knock that out I'll be right back and what you end up with is that piece of aluminum and your wrapping usually stays in here but you just take a screwdriver pry on it this one's naturally going to be a booger and then take that put it right back in there and then it can be tossed in your copper bearing motors so like that there's our thing look at how skinny compared to the old ones and we're going to real quick wrap it up that's all trash okay so we got our tools pretty much cleaned up here's our Another jar for our screws. Now I haven't separated out the stainless steel from those yet, but I will. Just like I said earlier, I got jars of these. That's probably I don't know 10 or 15 pounds of screws in this jar. But anywho, we got lots of screws and a few screws loose, I guess. But here's our actuator arms. So what I'm actually going to do is go through these later. And I think I'm going to start stripping off these little pieces on the end with the gold and the gold wires. And I'm going to start stripping off whatever gold is on these and just keeping them in a jar. Because, I mean, you can sell them on eBay, but you don't get much for them. And they're actually kind of a pain. This one's actually gold plated on the copper or aluminum. This is what I was talking about earlier. I don't know if you can see that, but you see they've actually made ribbon gold plated ribbon I think instead of using the wire this one actually looks like it's ribbon all the way to the end 
Then this is our ribbons that have to be gone through. Most of them I've already pulled off. They have gold on them. I just have to trim it up. So we're going to put this all in here for trimming up later on. Probably this evening or tomorrow. But I'm going to keep all of that because that actually, like I said in a, I don't know a couple of videos back, this is pretty high yielding stuff because it's very light. So when you get an ounce or two of this or three ounces of this, when it's specially trimmed out, you're going to end up with a pretty little, pretty good little batch of gold. Here's our wad of hard drive magnets. Uh, you can remove the magnet from the carrier case. You just have to be really careful because they will break. Um, I don't know. You know, I just see a lot of these on eBay. A lot of times people buy them. I don't know what they do with them. But anyway, they're good, strong magnets. I mean, if you want to use them for cleaning out your gold concentrates or anything else, they'll work. This is all of our aluminum platter rings so that's all good aluminum I actually keep this stuff separate from other you know just trash aluminum because I know this is high grade stuff and I've got a lot of you know flatters this stuff I've got a lot of these you know the cases that are cast aluminum and if anybody does any casting or aluminum casting and you're interested in any of this stuff, I mean, you know, give me a ring or drop me a note and we will uh, work something out on them. Here's all our platters from the hard drives. And I know, like I said, a lot of crafters use these, so these are sellable on eBay and they actually fit perfect right on top of one of those coasters. Here is a little bit of gold pins connectors with gold pins that we got very few and one little IC chip but nowhere near like they used to be so there's our gold pins here's our boards now these are high grade boards so put these back together I can do that later. But anyway, so this is our board. This is actually what we were after. And we will strip all the chips off. The pins, which these are actually good ones. They're full plate pins in these. In the IDEs. So we'll take all that stuff off. This is our hard drive motors, which will go into our copper bearing motors box. And like you saw these. So that's what we got, guys. I don't know. Let me see if I can. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you see how much aluminum we got. So this is all fast aluminum. That's good, high quality aluminum. And that is it. So this is basically all we're going to do with these right now. These I'm going to just put away until I'm going to till winter time when I go to strip them all out. So I just wanted to make a little video showing what to do with these hard drives, how to break them down, um, how to divide your stuff out. This is good stuff trimmed out. There's not going to be a lot of it. Usually the pins, if they are gold plated, are high grade. And then you've got all this other stuff that you can either sell or just rat hole. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. I have been sitting here for too many hours, so I am going to go kick back and relax. So. We will see you guys in the next video.